Welcome. This video is going to focus on option pricing and more specifically what's going to focus on an option pricing Greek known as Delta. If you'd like to follow along with this video on optionsplaybook.com, please go to the website and use the search bar and search for the section called Meet the Greeks. What is Delta? Well, it's obviously a Greek letter. And in the options pricing world, it is generated from an option pricing calculator. And it helps you develop realistic expectations as to how much your option should move relative to a movement in the underlying stock. Now, in the options trading world, you have calls and you have puts. And the delta on a call option, which if you buy that, you're bullish on the marketplace, you want the market to go up, will range between 0 and 1. On a put option, which means you're bearish on the market, you want the market to go down if you buy a put option, uh, that delta would range between 0 and negative 1. Now, one is a theme here, and if we look at even the textbook definition of delta, it says that delta is the amount an options price is expected to move based on a $1 change in the underlying stock. So, it's important to note that delta can't be bigger than one because an option is a derivative, so it can't be bigger than one on the call side or minus one on the put side. We're just going to focus on calls going forward here. But you should never make more from something that is a derivative than the underlying price that it is derived from, right? So most option contracts represent 100 shares of stock, so we'll stick with that theme. If I bought 100 shares of stock and the stock went up one, and I looked at my portfolio, I would expect to be up $100 on that position. In the options trading world, each option contract represents a uh, 100 shares. So if the underlying stock goes up one, I would expect if I had a delta of one to make a hundred dollars on that option contract. All right. So if you go to the meet the Greek section, there is an example using a stock that is trading for $50 and a strike of $50. And we're talking about a call option and we're looking at a 60 day option contract. So my question to you is, we have a 60-day, obviously at the money option contract. The stock is 50. The strike price is 50. We're going to only deal with calls from here on out just to make things simple. And we pay $2 for that option contract. Let's say as soon as we buy that option contract, we turn around and the stock, oh my gosh, it just went to 51. What is my $2 option contract trading for? Well, the quick answer would be, well, what is the delta, right? We just defined what delta is. But if you're just sitting there thinking about option trading, put a number in your head. What do you think it should be? Well, the delta in this situation was 50 cents, which means that if the stock went up one on the stock, you would make $100 on your option contract, which you paid a lot less for. It was trading for $2 times 100 or $200. Um, is now trading for about $2.50 based off of the delta that was right around 50 or $250 if you were to sell that option contract that you bought uh, on the marketplace. So now let's look at the scenario and say, okay, so it moved 50 cents, delta was 50. So now in the next point movement is delta 50 again? No, it's not. It's actually 60. So the stock goes from 50 to 51, the delta was around 50, and it's dynamic in the real world, so it's going to be moving a little bit more than 50. But then the stock goes from 51 to 52. Well, now we see that our delta in that scenario was 60 cents. It was bigger than it just was. So our option went from $2 on the one point movement up, it went to 250, and then on the next point movement up, it went six, up 60 cents to $3.10. And like I said, that example is inside that section of optionsplaybook.com. Now, that's all fine and dandy. If you just want to stop there and you want to stop with the textbook definition of delta, but we also highlight in that section uh, the non-textbook definition, and I really like this definition because it helps you develop, re uh, helps you get a good feel for what a delta should be without actually looking at a quote of the option contract. Uh, and the way it does that is you got to think of delta as probability. Delta 
in theory or non-textbook definition is the probability that your option will be at least one cent in the money on expiration. Say that again slower. It's the probability that your option contract will be at least one cent in the money on expiration. Now, we're not saying that you're going to make money. We're just saying that, that it's going to be in the money on exp, uh, at expiration. So in our scenario, we had a stock at 50. The strike was 50. We're an at the money option contract. What's the probability of it finishing in the money? We still had 60 days remaining to expiration, but the probability is 50-50, right? The market goes up, it's in. If it goes down, it's out. So at the money option contracts, we'll have a delta close to 50. And in our scenario, we said as we got deeper in the money, as the market moved up and it no longer was an at the money option contract, it became an in the money option contract, the delta increased. And in our example, it went from 50 cents to 60 cents. Now, ultimately, as it goes deeper and deeper in the money, the most that it can get to is one, but then it starts acting a lot like that underlying stock, but we'd be way deep in the money on our 60 day option contract. The other side of the coin, though, is that sometimes you buy a call option and it goes down. Well, in that scenario, the delta is also going to go down with it. So at first, it's going to go down. Your option contract was at $2. If it goes down one, it would be trading for $150. But delta actually gets smaller as you get further and further out of the money. And in our scenario, the smallest that Delta can get is zero. That means you're way out of the money and basically the option's going to expire worthless. All right, so that's the range. At the money option contracts, we'll have a Delta close to 50. Deep in the money is gonna be uh, uh, approaching one, never going beyond one. And obviously on the downside, as you get further and further out of the money, it's going to approach zero, never going beyond zero. Now. Let's take that non-textbook definition and let's think of let's let's go to an extreme and let's show you how delta changes as expiration approaches. Keep the, that thought that uh, that it's the probability of your option contract finishing at least one cent in the money at expiration. So let's go to expiration. Let's stop with the sixty-day option contract and let's make it a one-day option contract. And let's keep the stock at 50 and the strike is at 50. All right, stock at 50, strike is 50, one day remaining to expiration. We buy a call option. I don't know what the price is. It doesn't really matter at this point in time, but we pay for that call option. What's the delta? I just gave you all these different definitions. What's the delta? What is your expectation of delta at the second? Stock 50, strike 50, one day remaining. It's 50. You can't get more 50 than that. It's a 50-50 chance. The stock ticks up one, it's in. It ticks down one, it's out. You got very limited time for that option contract to live before the expiration date happens. You're at 50. All right. Now let's say the stock moves. It moved one. That'd be a big leap in one day, right? So the stock goes from 50 to 51. Boom. There it is. Now what is our 50 strike call option? it would be close to 90. Why? Well, you only have one day remaining to expiration. What's the probability of it finishing at least one cent in the money when it's already $1 in the money? Probability is extremely high and the delta will reflect that. And also on the downside, if you went down one, delta is going to quickly approach zero because it's going to be very hard for that underlying stock to get back to the strike price and finish at least one cent in the money. So delta is a very dynamic number as expiration approaches. As you go further and further out in time, it just doesn't move as quickly. So that's a very important concept in the options trading world. And even though it's not the textbook definition of delta, it does help you develop realistic expectations. So thanks for viewing. If you'd like to learn more, please check out optionsplaybook.com. And if you have any questions or comments, please send them to support at optionsplaybook.com.